The movie begins with Chef Kilios, who is dropped from a helicopter and lands in the middle of a road junction. Some bad people come and pick him up from the street. When he opens his eyes, he is in a hospital and his hands are tied to the bed. He sees doctors removing his heart, with Johnny Vang watching nearby. He has a fake heart in his chest because his real heart has been given to Johnny Vang. After some time, Chev wakes up and realizes that his body parts are being taken from him. We know that Chev is very skilled, but we still need to see how powerful and determined he becomes with his artificial heart. He fights and hurts the two guys next to him, and then realizes that he is connected to an extra battery pack. After that, he goes to a quiet place that looks like a secret meeting spot for a gang. He defeats some guards easily and then tries to find where the bad person who has his heart is. This is amusing because in a normal world, having someone's heart means something completely different. Well, we are currently not in the ordinary world. Afterwards, he forcefully gets information about where Johnny Vang is from a criminal. The man says to him that Johnny is at the Cypress Social Club. Chev gets in a car, but begins to feel tired. He realizes that the battery pack is still connected to him. He calls Doc Miles, who tells him that he has been given an artificial heart called ABOCOR. Then, he tells Chev how this system functions. Miles explains to him that when the extra battery runs out, the built-in battery will start working and he will have 60 minutes before it stops working. He also says that he needs to replace his heart with a new one, preferably his own, as any other heart would not work for very long. Chev meets some guys who really like the car he stole. They talk and try to convince him to race. Chev's car gets into an accident, and the inside battery gets broken into pieces. Chev tells the boys to attach jumper wires to him so that his internal battery can be recharged. They are nice enough to help him start his car. Chev goes to the social club where he's surprised to see Rhea, who works there as a prostitute. Chev makes everyone leave the building as he searches for Vang, but Vang manages to leave just in time to get away from the monster. Rhea really likes him because he saved her life. She then tells him about the strip club where Vang is hiding. At the club, Vang is approached by Chico and his followers. The club is owned by the group, and it looks like they want to find out what is inside the red box. Chico and Vang work together, and Chico also gives Vang some sushi. After learning that sushi is made using human elbows, Vang proposes a deal to the person making it. In the next part, Chev meets up with Eve, who is now a dancer at the club. Chev comes into the club and brings a bad guy into the room where Vang and Chico are doing business. Chev tries to stop a fight between Rita, who he is just starting a relationship with, and Eve, who he has been with for a long time. Chico comes into the room and talks to Chev while trying to explain what's happening. He tells his dogs that they must bring Chev back without harming him. Both groups start shooting at each other, and Chev somehow wins even though it was unlikely. But Vang once again leaves the club. After the things that happened at the club, Chev finds out that a bad guy called El Huron, also known as the Ferret, wants to murder him, but he doesn't know the reason why. When Chev leaves the club, his other friends, the police, are waiting for him. They quickly attempt to capture him, and the situation seems very unfavorable for Chev because seven police officers have him surrounded and begin to physically attack him while he is on the ground. Eve gets the police officer's attention away from Chev by making loud noises and shouting. Chev takes advantage of his girlfriend's desperate move and escapes in a police car. In the car, Chev and Eve talk and Eve tells him about a video she watched online. In the video, there is a guy who fell from a helicopter 14,000 feet in the air and didn't die. All of a sudden, the red-haired dancer from the club shows up in the car. It seems like she was there in the car while these two were working with the police. She touches Eve in a sexual way and seems very interested in Eve's body. The stripper tries to continue in the back seat of the car, but Eve doesn't seem to be interested. However, Chev has found a device to charge his battery. He keeps shocking himself with a taser that he got from the police officer. Chev then says that he has to locate Vang. The stripper recognizes the name and informs him that he is at the Hollywood racetrack. The person who takes off their clothes for money manages to remove the handcuffs and Eve asks them for assistance too. Eve's captor is hoping that Eve will become occupied with something, so she releases the restraints on Eve. However, Eve ends up hitting her and causing her to lose consciousness. Chev gives a call to Miles. Miles tells Chev that he can put his heart back if Chev can get it from Vang. The doc also talks about why he can't work as a heart surgeon anymore. Unfortunately, they encounter a crowd of people who are protesting while they are heading towards the Hollywood race track. Chev meets Venus, who is the brother of Chev's partner Kalo, who has passed away. The boy helps Chev get away from some police officers on a bike. He tells Chev that he has a condition called Tourette's, which affects his whole body. Chev then tells the boy that a person named El Huron was involved in the death of his brother, in order to ask for the boy's help. Venus's body is not in good shape, so he can't control the motorcycle anymore. As a result, both of them crash on the side of the road. Chev is getting tired again at the racetrack, but Doc Miles tells him that rubbing his skin against something will create static electricity and charge the battery inside him. Meanwhile, Eve gets to the Hollywood racetrack just at the right moment. She helps Chev out when he gets in trouble with some police officers and an old lady. Chev tells her everything that happened, and she gets what he wants. 
They both do it in the middle of the race track, even though there are many people around. They create enough rubbing to charge his heart. Shev saw Vang in the crowd and left Eve, who was not wearing any clothes, to chase after him. Vang escapes from Shev once more. Shev was about to get caught by security, but then Dom Kim shows up in a fancy car and saves Shev. He tells Shev that a well-known leader in a gang called the Triads, named Poon Dong, needs a new heart and has chosen Shev's. Shev murders Don Kim and his assistants after finding out that Don Kim wants to take him back to Poondong and give him a prize for it. After leaving the race track, Eve bumps into her former boyfriend. He wants her to either surrender herself or hide with him. Eve doesn't want to do that, so she makes him unconscious when he tries to strike her. Sadly, the police have taken control of her. Venus is seeing her arrest happen as she makes a phone call at a payphone. He contacts Orlando for help in finding El Huron. Orlando says yes, and they both choose a place. While looking for Vang, Shev gets on an ambulance and takes the battery pack for his fake heart. Then he leaves the ambulance and sees Vang on the street. They start shooting at each other and chase each other on foot. This time Shev defeats Vang, but he realizes that Vang's heart is not inside the box. Shev finds Vang lying on the ground and quickly contacts the doctor. The doctor tells Shev that Vang received a new heart three weeks ago. Miles informs him that Poon Dong's heart is in excellent shape and is currently beating strong. Just as Shev is about to hit Vang one last time, a gunshot goes through Vang's head. Chico is seen with the gun that was used to shoot Vang. One of Chico's dogs hits Shev and makes him unconscious using a dull weapon. Next, we observe a heart pumping. This is Shev's heart, and now Poon Dong owns it. He appears to be very happy with his new heart. Poon Dong sees Doc Miles' secretary, Dark Chocolate, and they both go inside a building and vanish. After that, we watch Shev and his mom being invited to appear on a talk show. The people at the show, including the person hosting it, examine Shev's difficult upbringing. It seems that he was a badly behaved kid who did a lot of bad things. We expected this outcome. The host asks Shev why he does what he does, and now we are in the present. Shev wakes up and sees that Chico and his friends are taking him to Catalina Island, where El Huron is waiting. Venus meets up with Rhea and Orlando, and they all go to look for Shev. The police are asking Eve a lot of questions. But she pays money to get out of jail and leaves. In plain words, Shev is taken to El Huron on Catalina Island after Chico, and his guys hurt him badly. It turns out that El Huron is the brother of Ricky and Alex Verona. Sadly, both Ricky and Alex were killed by Shev. El Huron shows Shev a box with Ricky's head inside, floating in liquid. He explains that Ricky's head is being kept alive using technology so that he can witness Shev's death before he dies. El Huron is about to win against Shev, but he gets stopped by Orlando Venus and Rhea. A fight starts when Venus shoots El Huron in the arm. Then, more shooting happens and most of El Huron's dogs are killed. During the shooting, Shev attempted to choke El Huron but was stopped by Chico who fought him with their fists. He defeats Chico quickly by stabbing him, and the fight is over. Venus wants to chase El Huron, but his followers block her path. She fights them and successfully defends herself with nunchucks. Meanwhile, Dark Chocolate tricks Poon Dong into entering the room in Doc's apartment. Doc is waiting in the room with a syringe to make Poon Dong fall asleep. On the island, right before El Huron shoots Shev, Venus pushes him. They both fall down the stairs and start fighting. Shev goes up a pole and grabs some wires to recharge but he catches fire because of the strong electric current. He comes back with a lot of energy and kills El Huron. Because he saw things that weren't really there, he thought Rhea was someone else named Eve and kissed her. This made her catch on fire. Chef comes towards us and shows us his middle finger. Doc Miles puts a new heart inside Chef. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please turn on the notifications and click the like button to support the channel. See you in the next video.